Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Metalhead Potterhead here and today we're looking at a big haul of Harry Potter stuff. Let's take a look. So I picked up a, a nice collection very recently. Um, somebody on uh, adverts.ie, the website I always use, was selling their daughter's collection. She's not into Harry Potter anymore, which is very, very sad. Um, so I arranged the price and I bought it all offered. It's not much, but um, I also realized I never shared or showed the items I picked up when I went to the Warner Brothers studio tour in London. Uh, didn't pick up much there. Uh, a lot of it's very expensive, but it's stuff I can get in any kind of uh, Harry Potter place where they sell Harry Potter stuff. Uh, and I can get it online and so on. There was nothing really exciting, but I did pick up a few bits. So I'll show you first from the Warner Brothers store what I got. I got the Tri Wizard Cup. Um, and this was very reasonably priced. It's still got the label actually. How much was this? It was £14 sterling. So that's what I'm like. 20 euro, 20 dollars. It's a really nice um, detail cup. It's plastic in every way, but it's a nice replica and I like it very much. I also picked up, uh, oh, when I went to the, uh, the food court, which was fantastically overpriced, check out my video of my trip to Warner Brothers here or here somewhere. Uh, but the, if you get butterbeer, you'll get a cool but her beer cup with the Mina Lima uh, graphics on it. I also picked up cute little scabbers. And he is... Look, I think there's a nice little detail. He's missing a toe. And he was cute. He was, what, £9? Maybe... €15 Euro or dollars? I don't know. And one other item, uh, which I thought was really nice. I do like this. It is a original motion picture uh, cell, like a, a, a movie cell, there, yeah, you see that, from, there's lots of stuff in the back, oh, what, what the heck is all this, what's going on here, uh, no price, can't remember how much this was, I think it was expensive enough, but um, that's cool, that'll go up on my wall somewhere here in the, in the Harry Potter room. So, oh, before I go to the collection, there's a few other bits that I got as well. I got these official stampers. There's five there in that one, and there is another five in this one. Uh, it says collect them all. So that's, that's how many is actually there that you can collect. I can't remember where I got these. And uh, just when I was looking around my room at all this stuff I need to get up onto shelves, I'm like, oh. They exist. I better speak about them to all my, my lovely um, subscribers on my YouTube channel that love Harry Potter. And um, two other items I got that are not part of the, the that, that little girl's collection are these um, things. What are they called? They are Harry Potter Hermione model paint set. Yeah, so it's just a, a model of Hermione. You get the paints and same with Harry Potter. So I plan to do a separate video when I'm painting them. I'll get them out on display. I'm sure they look quite cool. I like them. I hope that didn't just break when it fell over. And then we look at the collection of stuff. So it's all here in this basket. Oh, I got the part of it was two board games. One, hold, hold your horses. So one was the Magical Beasts board game, which I already have. So that's a duplicate. Uh, and. Munchkin Deluxe. I'm not too sure on this, but I've seen it on sale in the kind of stationery stores here in Ireland. It's like maybe 30, 34, 35 euro it goes for. So I got it for next to nothing as part of this lot. Why is my hair sticking up there? I don't like that lumpy bit. So let's see what we have here. Again, there's a few pops and you can see I've started to get a lot of pops in my collection and I regularly say anyone that watches the channel I don't like pops I don't collect them but wow I've got some big collection going on for somebody that doesn't like them first of all I got um, some stickers um, never seen these on sale before Harry Potter mini contact cards and, and there's only a few of them I don't know what I don't know what to do with them. 
but they're there nonetheless. I have a Headwig Money Bank. Already have that in the collection. I have an official uh, Warner Brothers Headwig mug, which is cool. I plan to leave that in the box and put it out on display somewhere. What else did I get in here? A nice little journal. That cost five euro originally. I could see the, the, the label still on there. Never used. I might use that here in my office for work. I have got a Harry Potter the Marauders map, but it's meant to come with a wand, which is clearly not present, so I will throw that away. I won't, I will keep it. Um, a letter writing set, which was, it's open but I use. Harry Potter gadget decals, or decals, depending on how you pronounce it. I've got like half of this stuff, I've no real interest. Um, a cool set of Harry Potter playing cards, which again, I already have but uh, they're sealed. These are not sealed, so I may use them. And a few pops that I got, which are all pops that I didn't have. So we got, I think this was a set actually, a full set of pops, uh, the Yule Ball. I think it was McGonagall, Harry, uh, can't remember her name. Is it Patel? I can't remember her full name. Worst Harry Potter fan ever. Um, Chu Chang in her Yule Ball attire. And Severus Snoop. So as far as I know, that was a box set of four pops that um, came in that collection. So that's my little haul. Um, I'm pretty happy. There's some cool stuff there. I'm glad I've done this video because now I can put it on shelves. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.